Hi, today I'm going to show you how I get this look using my Naked 3 palette. Starting out with a bare face, I've already moisturised my skin using the MAC strobe cream. And then I'm going to take a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and just really buff the foundation into my skin. And the foundation that I'm using today is a NARS Sheer Glow and it's a medium to full coverage foundation. I'm then going in with my NARS concealer in the shade Custard and I'm just applying a few dots under my eyes and on my chin. I'm then going in with my sponge just to blend that out. I'm then just going in with my finishing powder to set my concealer and foundation in place for the day. Using this bourgeois chocolate bronzer, I'm just going to warm up the skin, focusing on my cheekbones, my jawline and my temples. To contour my face, I'm just taking a smaller brush and focusing it in the hollows of my cheekbones. And I also take it down the sides of my nose and the tip of my nose, just to make that appear a little smaller. Now to highlight the skin, I'm using a Topshop highlighter called Moonbeam, I'm pretty sure. And I'm just focusing that in a C shape around my eye and the top of my cheekbones, down the center of my nose, the top of my chin, and on my cupid's bow. Because I wanted quite a dramatic highlight on my cheekbones, I took a little bit of extra product on my ring finger and applied it to the high points of my cheekbones and then just buffed it out with my brush. For well, blush today I'm using this one here by Bourgeois and I'm just taking that on the apples of my cheeks and softly blending it upwards just to blend my bronzer and highlight together. One thing I absolutely cannot go without is brows, so I'm filling in my brows today using the Hourglass Arch Pencil and Soft Brunette. My biggest tip for brows would be to really follow your own natural shape that's already there. Basically all you want to do is just fill in the sparse areas just to make your brows appear fuller. To set my brows, I'm using Benefit's Give Me Brow. Love this stuff. It tints the hairs, thickens them, and just really sets your brow in place.
To make sure my eyeshadows last, I just applied an eyeshadow pencil. This one's by Rimmel, it's called Bulletproof Beige. And just buffing that in with a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. For the entire eye look today, I'll be using my Naked 3 palette. Taking the shade Burnout on a big fluffy eyeshadow brush, and just sweeping that over the lids just to give a wash of colour. To define my crease, I'm taking the shade Limit and I'm using this on a smaller crease brush just to define that area a little bit more. I'm also taking that underneath on my lower lash line. To define my crease even more, I'm taking this darker matte shade called Mona and just working that into the crease. On the same brush, taking the shade Black Heart, I'm going to define that crease even more. With a look like this, it's really important to start out with lighter shades and build up to your darker shades. And start with less and add more as you go. To warm up the look, I'm taking this shimmery pink shade called Buzz and I'm just focusing that on the eyelid on the inside of that outer V. After each time I've added an eyeshadow, I then always go back in with a fluffy blending brush just to really soften everything out and make sure there's no harsh edges. To highlight the inner corners of my eyes, I'm using this really pretty shimmery pink shade called Dust and just applying that to the inner tear duct area of my eye. Using my finger I'm taking this rose gold shade called Trick on the centre of my eyelids. Taking the same shade on a brush, I'm just packing more colour into that area just to intensify it. Taking that same colour again on the inner corner of my lower lash line. Going back to that dark shade called Black Heart, I'm taking this on a pencil brush and defining the crease line even more. To really brighten up my eyes, I'm using a nude eyeliner and this one is by Rimmel. And of course, no look is complete without mascara, so you just want to apply lots and lots of coats of your favourite mascara. For my lower lash line, I'm using Clinique's Bottom Lash Mascara. Using one of my favourite lipsticks by MAC, this is called Fabby, and I think it goes perfectly with the eyeshadow colours.
I thought I'd show you this eye look with a brighter shade of lipstick. This one is YSL Rouge Volupt in the shade 8. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Yeah.